Hey everyone! Hello! We are so sorry we've been off for a little bit. We've had some unforeseen things come up in our personal life. We've had weddings, we've had emergency, um, room, emergency visits. room visits. Um, Gosh, like with my kid, that was hard. I have surgery coming up, which is kind of, I knew it was coming, but last minute, I'm fine. But I, I have it Monday, so doctor visits, We've had my brother, like you don't know. So we are so sorry. We did not plan for this, but I guess life happens and we, you know, it is what it is. So yes. we have finished this, but we, we finished have, it a while. Ago. We just haven't been able to do it because like I said, we've had a lot going on in our personal lives. And I have to say a shadow in the ember, ember by um, Jennifer L. Armin Trout. I still I, want to call it an ember in the shadow. She, okay, because um, from I can't Saba quite get to it. here, yes. um, gosh, what's the... Uh, an what's ember the, in the ashes. An uh, ember in the ashes. So she's always like... I'm she saying could not, ember first. She yeah. could not get this book right. No. She kept going, oh, it's... Da, da, da. I'm like, no, a shadow in the ember. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. So. Yeah, she kept doing that. But look at how pretty... I really like this cover. You know me, Sarah and I love covers. It's really in line with a lot of her other, um, I don't have the Gilded Bones with me right now. Oh, sorry, I'm out of the cover. <gasps> oh, geez. But it's really in line with all her other, oh, oh. oh my gosh, what's wrong oh, with us? Oh my goodness. We've been, we've been out of this for yeah. a couple of weeks and now we're like, so, you know, it's weird. right yeah. now, like it's 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 all in line with her other books, you know, what? and her her new one coming the, the War covers. Between Queens. Yeah, yes, the two queens. I'm gonna be audio booking. Um, she did the audio books. Okay, now. so yes, you guys have got me on it when you guys said, "Oh, like you should audio book mm -hmm. it." Now listen, there is nothing to me like a book in my hand, and I still say that I still would prefer a book in my hand. But how busy we've been decorating for Christmas, the, the Thanksgiving hospital yeah. visits um i will say it is so nice cleaning to put some in but i mostly have been redoing books so crescent city lizette you told me to get them for crescent city or like to do the audiobook on youtube i did it except for they didn't have chapter 68 and on which was a bummer so i have to reread that but i've been reviewing books so i'm going to be doing from blood and ash so because the new one's coming out so i want to be fresh because when i keep reading I forget little details. Yeah. That is my problem. Do you guys have that problem too? Or is mm -hmm. it just me? Like, yeah. I get in another book, another series. And it's like, I remember the whole premise, but I can't remember the tiny details. That might've been something I really wanted to talk about. And I am doing Crescent City on the audiobook. Um, I am also reading the book, but while I'm, so I'll just like remember where I'm at and then I'll just flip open the book at night. Um, but while I'm getting ready or stuff and, and all that, I'm, I am, putting the audiobook on so yes and I did actually audiobook a shadow in the ember because we were painting our house and I was I would prefer that. like I do I've always loved audiobooks like Outlander when we read Outlander I have the Outlander books I don't have all of them on there but I always liked audiobooks so I just listened to it on the way to work but, but sometimes a voice can make or break it yeah know? exactly I, I remember there was someone I was listening to and I really had a hard time yeah like listening. I was yeah. like, mm, not yeah. for me. So I read the book, book of um, A Shadow in the Ember. So, but yeah, but right now I'm doing Crescent City and actually the, the, the narrator yeah. is, she's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh. Okay. You'll just have to read um, chapters like yes. 68 and on, which was a bummer. Where I was yeah. like, oh, and she's borrowing my book. So I was like, oh, let me go finish it real quick. And she, I was like, where's my book? Or no, I was like, do you have the book? And she's like, yeah, I'm reading. I'm like, man. <laughs> So I'll have to wait till she's done with it to, to read 68 and on. Cause I just wanted to refresh her, but so I'm going to be doing it for, from blood and ash. I think you should do that too. We should audio book it. Cause that guy has it on his YouTube. Oh, okay. We saw, but anyways, sorry for our ramble. Our four, we're four minutes but in we and do. we're rambling. We know we're sorry. You can just fast forward, <laughs> but a shadow in the ember. You know what? I was so happy. It set up like, um, not set up, but there was a lot of things that kind of were starting to get answered yep. to me from um, from the From Blood yes. and Ash series. Like little things. Especially Gilded Bones. You know, like yeah. I remember she read it be right before me um, and she said, oh, I went back and I read, you know, something. I went Gilded back Bones. into Gilded Bones and, and I, I wanted yeah. to 
reread some of the things that were happening because I was like, oh, what did they say? Okay, because we're going into the primal of death, Nyctos, mm -hmm. and then you have Serafina, Sarah. Um, you know, your name is Sarah, but I feel like spelling it S-E-R-A is a totally different name. It is. It's like yeah. Sarah, but it's not Sarah. Well, I went on Google. I was like, is that the right way to... I know it's Serafina, so I get it. Like, her nickname's Sarah. But I was like, but on Google, it's Sarah. And so I was like... Oh, is it Sarah? Oh, I've been calling her Sarah. But how did the audio book say Sarah. It? Sarah. Okay, so yeah. I'm sure in the book it was... Sarah. They called her Sarah. But, um, because it's Serafina. <laughs> yeah, it's her, it's her name, Serafina. So it makes sense instead of saying Sarah. But on Google, it's Sarah. So I was like, yeah. So then I asked her, and she's like, oh, it's Sarah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because mine's S A R A H and S E R A. So. But it's funny how a spelling can totally make a name different. I always mm -hmm. say that. Like, it could be like Aaron and Aaron. You can have A A R O N and E R I N. I mean, yeah. I know it's a girl boy, but still, it just totally makes it different to yeah. me. Um, anyway, so we're getting into the consort, which we've learned about yep. in the From Blood and Ash series. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I had to remember, we never really knew the name. I went back into Gilded Bones and they were saying how they didn't even really know the name of her. Of her. That just he that Nyctos kept her so sacred and protected that he never let people know. I mean, other than their close circle, obviously, or that time because we're going back. I think it was like thousands of years. I believe it was like it was a while. I can't remember. It was, yeah, a, while it was a while before, before. and we're going way yeah. back before from Blood and Ash. I thought it said a thousand years. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up in my head. You know. And we're on other books right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I make things up in my head. You know, there's a lot of times I make things up in my head. I'm like, well, did I make that up? Like, yeah. I mean, did I dream that? And yeah. then I'm like telling people, no, that's happened. Mm -hmm. I do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm a little crazy. But anyways, Runs in he, our family. <laughs> he kept her sacred yep. and protected. And you kind of start to find out why? in here why. Yeah. And I loved it. It yeah. was good. You know, I, I don't think it was as good as From Blood and Ash. No, I was just going to say, I think, I think From Blood and Ash, I enjoyed more. Um, but I mean, Penelope and Sarah, you can kind of see the similarities in their personality. So that was fun. Um, and even with Nyctos and everything. So yes, you could see, and there's some foreshadowing yeah. in here for them. Yeah. They get to get a glimpse a little bit. And yes, I agree. I saw like, oh, you could tell uh -huh. it, it's in the family. Yeah. Like it runs. And I, I really liked it. I, again, I didn't, perf I liked From Blood and Ash better right now, but I guarantee as she keeps going, you know, sometimes books just get better and better. I kind of think that this will be just like, oh good. yeah, for sure. I mean, it's in the same world and all that. I was telling her because we meet Nectus and we went, we met Nectus in yes. Gilded Bones. Yes. He was the Draken. Um, and we meet, we see more of Nectus and then, you know, Jadis and Jadis, um, who is his, his daughter. Yeah. I mean, no, we're not, it's not really a spoiler, not, yeah. but you know, we're just going to let that one out. And I was just, I, I, I want a story so on him now. On yes. Yeah. I was like, give me a story on Nectus. And he also has that like, ooh, like thing to I him. I saw a drawing of him. Yes. On Insta. And, and, and he was holding, uh, oh Jadis. gosh, Jadis. That's it. His little girl. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> Dill. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So, uh huh. Um, so I was like, I I want a story on Nectus. So I I I thought that story was or his little I, part. In again, it was cool. we have a series that She's can start building, going yeah. on different. You know, you, you you can start going to this person and kind of creating a story. I love that about these writers. Like you can really open if you really want to change a story. Like you, you're done with this story, but want to change it? You can keep it in the same world, the same people, but mm -hmm. go on a different direction. And I really like that. If you, if she wanted to, I mean, and there's so much like that you want to know. So yeah. it would be a good story. It definitely know? leaves you with wanting more. Mm -hmm. Um, so and you know, it it really all comes together in the end. So, but yeah, it made me want to go back and read Gilded Bones, which I actually don't own the book. Of I, I, I have it on my phone. I have the book on my phone, not the audiobook, but the, um, you know, on the books app. I have it on there. Um, 
but I need to buy it so it can, I can complete that series so far. Um, but yeah, no, I was like, oh, I want to go back and, and read a little bit more. But yeah, Jennifer L. Armantrout, she did such good world building that I was like, oh, I want to start on this person, does. on this person, on this person, on this person. We really need to read her other series, I think. Yeah. Or her I heard books they're good. Because, I mean, I am a fan. I have not yet hated a book from yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I recommend this book. I liked it. I think it was fun. Has that witty personality again, humor. Not witty person. Yeah, personality, humor. Again, Serfina was a really fun um, heroine. And she has that wit. Like you said, it reminds me of Poppy. Yeah. You know? And um, Nectos. I mean, I just, yeah, it's good. I think everyone should read it if you're into fantasy yeah it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. great I loved it um I was not disappointed I do agree I think I gave it like a 4.5 well a four on I think Goodreads. I put four but, but yeah. I would probably put like a movie of maybe a 4.5 I think I gave blood and ash a five I think it would be 4.2 um oh, yeah maybe a but uh I I really enjoyed it go read it it's so worth it you gotta have withdrawals at the end you're like oh man i really want that's why i like a completed darn series because it drives me nuts i just want to continue on well we don't have to wait too long because she seems to get out her she books very seem... quickly i mean we're gonna get the fourth book in the blood and ash series i always wonder what goes through these authors minds like how they can come up with this stuff it makes sense and, and how keep authors, going like we were talking about outlander we live in one yesterday we read the first three books of outlander but she put out her ninth book, mm -hmm. Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. And that book is huge. And it took her, what, how long? Since 2016 to write that book. But well, I was at Target probably, looking at it. Like, oh you know, it's probably slowed her down because she has a series. And she's big into the series. She's a big part of it. That's why yeah. it makes it so good, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I was looking at the new book last night. And I was like, this thing is huge. I mean, I can see why it took I her always so loved long, Outlander. But... My only complaint is with it, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. Reading it was, sometimes there's too much history in it that I'd be like, okay, kind of boring, yeah. Okay, this is boring me. <laughs> Especially the second book. Oh and I'm my like, God, wow. Snooze. You don't yeah. need that. Yeah. The second book was like, I'm Yeah, it was like, a snooze. Oh, yeah. You're right. Then we get to the third book and I was like, ooh, <laughs> so much drama. Anyways, this is not about that. <laughs> We have rambled. You can tell it's been a while. We, we feel like talking to you guys. We're like Doug from Up. You know, the dog Doug. We're like, da -da -da -da, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of go off on little tangents. Sorry. Um, I think it's been so long. We're just like <laughs> wanting to talk. <laughs> yeah. We missed you guys. Um, but yeah, I suggest go read it. Um, it's a it's a fun book to read. It really gives you some insight. Um from I mean you could kind of see the similarities between with a lot from her other series the blood and ash series and this one so yeah and it's starting to answer or like I don't know if we had did no I have lots I of questions no. but it's starting to go oh I see it starts to tie in to a from from blood and ash so it's kind of nice that you get that you know glimpse yeah. and how things started or you know all that type of stuff yeah anyways go read it we loved it great book yeah I love it Jennifer L. Armentrout Good job. J-L-A, I love you. <laughs> Yay. Anyways, we'll be back. We're going to actually be filming some more right now. So we'll be back, and we're going to try to get a little bit better again. We promise, we promise. We're not going anywhere, guys. We love you. Subscribe, like our video. We appreciate you guys. Bye. Bye.